Hello everyone, Rick Baldwin here, bringing you our latest interview segment of local leaders for our community blog park bench. Today we're here at Toomer Elementary School with Principal Ashley Adamo. Ashley, we're excited to have you uh, speak to folks out there. There's a lot of good things going on here at Toomer and uh, especially for me, when I went on the uh, tour we had recently, and hearing you talk about those good things you have, those new initiatives, uh, I felt we really needed to talk to you on bringing this interview to the community. So tell us a couple things about what are the most things you want people to know about what's going on here with some of the initiatives at Tumor. Yeah, well thanks again for this idea. I love talking about Tumor. Um, one of my favorite things about our school is that we are really community-based. Um, so we actually serve three neighborhoods. Uh, we serve Edgewood, Eastlake, and Kirkwood. Um, and we have a lot of community-based activities. So where some schools, um, they have a lot of events, but they're only for students and parents. Here at Tumor, we pride ourselves in inviting the community in. So Good. even if you don't have a child here, yep. we have a spaghetti dinner, we have science night, we just this past weekend had a family field day mm -hmm. where we actually invited students, parents, and the community right. to come participate. And what that does for us is it um, makes the school a place where everyone is gathering and everyone is invested because the students um, get the payoff in yeah. that when the whole community knows what's happening at the school and right. can support that right. and participate in whatever ways they'd like. Well, that's neat because I, I'm at a point in my life where I'm a grandfather. My kids are all grown, but I live here in East Lake, and so I like to know what's going on in the community. So this is really important for folks like me and my friends. What else do you have going on here that's getting you excited? Yeah, well, the staff here is mm -hmm. pretty amazing. So they are all here um, as a principal for three years. What I like to say all the time is they're here for the right reasons, and that's for students. So we pride ourselves here. We say some, We have a saying that um, relationships are the foundation of what we do. Mm -hmm. So when you enter the building in the morning, you'll see teachers spaced all around the building, greeting people by name. Right. We always greet people by name. Right. And um, we feel like that's a part of your foundational identity. Mm -hmm. And so students are welcomed and greeted in the morning. And then throughout the day, you see that play out in the classroom with their classroom teacher or with our librarian or with our school counselor. Right. Um, adults in the building are here for the kids. And so even though, yes, we're focused on standards right. and curriculum and objectives, um, we're really focused on the relationships we're building with students, the relationships we're building with families mm -hmm. and the communities, nice. um, and making sure that we're connecting on that level yep. and making feel, uh, making people feel heard and important nice. um, as part of our community. Good. So what can students expect as a learning experience here, your approach yeah. towards teaching and learning? Yeah, well, we are an international baccalaureate candidate school, so we hope to become authorized in the next few years. Um, so that's really important to us. It teaches students how to think more globally yeah. so that they're not feeling like here our yep. neighborhood is the center of the universe, right? Yep. Or the, the United States of America is yes. either. Um, so we focus a lot on that. We also focus on the whole child. Every day starts with what we call social emotional learning. Right. So how to socialize with one another, how to express your feelings, how to get along, how yep. to play games, all yep. those things that are important in real right. life. Right. And we also have a great Mandarin program. Mm -hmm. So all of our students are exposed to Mandarin right. and music and art and PE. Right. Um, and so we, you know, we feel like it goes beyond reading, right. math, yeah. social studies, and science. Yeah. It's, it's really mm -hmm. about developing mm -hmm. the whole child. A holistic approach to education. That's exactly. really exciting. There's a lot more to talk about. This will end our first segment here. We'll come back at different points of the year and talk with Ashley some more. But thank you for inviting yeah. us into your office thank and into you. your school. It's exciting what you got going on here. And uh, we'll have this posted on our, on our uh, community blog, and everybody can watch it at their convenience. Thanks okay. again, Ashley. Thank it was you, nice Rick. seeing Appreciate you again. It. Yeah, okay, bye-bye, everyone. Bye.